have a sacred Germanic performance that brings people to other states of consciousness. And yeah, mm -hmm. that's very interesting to think about mm -hmm. all of that. I mean, just how, you know, really, I mean, your mind, if it perceives something, I mean, that's reality, whether it's seeing it on television or whether it's seeing it in real life right here. So that's, that's interesting. Um, I did also want to talk a little bit about um, another one of your hobbies, mud building. Mm. And that reminds me of what you just said, is that even though it's a perceived reality on TV and the movies, yeah. the more of your senses that are involved, the more it, it has a more of a power to connect to your soul. Oh, yeah. It's like when you cry in a movie, you feel it's connecting to your soul because it's really reached into that, that sense. And that's what mud building is like to me when you live in a, a house that's made of mud and when you build it with your hands, you experience so many sensory stimulations that you wouldn't normally experience with a hammer and a nail. And you're actually in, in the mother and you're mixing clay and sand and straw and, and you're involved and you're connecting with it. And then you weave it together and you create something and, and the creation is oftentimes very organic and it comes out and you can carve your own shelves into it and make it just right for you. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, definitely there's something very important about actually touching the earth. I mean, that's something that, you know, in a lot of our modern cities, we don't do. We do not, our feet don't touch the ground, our hands don't touch the ground. And that's especially important now because, um, you know, we are completely surrounded by EMF, electromagnetic frequency, that fills our body. And so when you touch the ground or you swim in the ocean, you're actually grounding, literally grounding yourself. So, I mean, so an activity like mud building, you know, I mean, although I haven't done it myself, I would imagine it, it it's a very calming and empowering um, activity. It is. You can literally build your own house, yeah. which is why it's such an incredible solution to houselessness and the economic struggles mm -hmm. that a lot of people have. You don't need to owe anyone money to have your house, so you're surrounded by your power all of the time, and you're not giving it away. And that that completely reduces stress on a level that is hard to describe. You just feel yeah. free. Yeah. Well, what are th some of the sustainability factors of like actually making, is it making your own bricks out of mud and all of that? I mean, because if you compare that to the, like the general uh, building materials of a house, I mean, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of materials used, a lot of different kinds of materials of all. I mean, it's just, there's Well, one of the most harmful things about um, modern structures is the processing that goes into the materials. Things yeah, need to be heated at a very high level. They emit very toxic things into the atmosphere. And then, of course, there's the cost um, environmentally and financially of oil in shipping the materials. Mm -hmm. And um, so a lot of the earth and building can be dug up on the land that you have right, right. there. <laughs> and it can, I mean, right there, it can just be recycled right there if need be. Mm -hmm. um, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> and it brings community together. It does take a lot of work. Yeah. That's the one disadvantage is it takes a very long time. But if you get a party together, you know, instead of all going out and drinking or doing drugs or whatever, <laughs> you can just say, hey, okay, 100 of my friends, let's have a real party. Let's just build a house. Yeah. Let's build just a mix mud with our feet, listen to some really good music, eat some good food, yeah. and have a house at the end of the night instead of vomit. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, so that's really funny. So now when you build you know, when you participate in the mud building, like what